Hi all, I've been wanting to get this video out for a couple of days now and I haven't had time. So here it is. Behind me is the project that I've been working on. This is, I don't know, let's call it the Club System 2.0. I'm putting it together for a couple of different reasons. One is to incorporate a controller, two is to make things more lightweight, and three is to make the setup easier. If you have been following me at all, I got a gig at this club downtown and there's no dedicated DJ booth. In fact, where I set up, it's very limited in space and it's actually a seating area for when the place is a restaurant during the day. So you've got to bring in your own setup. When I went in on New Year's Eve, it was last minute. Like I had less than 48 hours to prepare for this. I brought what was kind of a smaller version of my mobile system, which is a small 10 inch mixer and a laptop stand and a fast set table it was four feet long and in that area it was too long the only place I could set it up was in an area where my back is to the audience that's not cool I need to face my audience so there was a little space about 30 inches that I could build and so I went with the X stand design I built a custom 17 inch wide mixer case it's an old VMS2 case. I put a 10 inch mixer in it. I have a surface for a, a mouse pad. There's a gooseneck in there. It's all pre wired. It's got a laptop stand that you can stick on there. It's really slick. It's a cool setup, but it's a little heavy. I've been using it this year, and it's a struggle to get in and out. Plus, when I was loading out last time I was at the club, I actually crushed the legs of my X stand with the weight of this case. So the case must weigh somewhere between 35 and 40 pounds because that plywood weighs a lot. Plus, you've got the mixer, plus you've got the laptop standing there, plus the cabling. It's time to build something else. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I make this lighter? If I use the x stand configuration, and instead of putting a mixer case on top of it, what if I just put a controller on there that was wider than the 17-inch stance this x stand gives me when it's at... A decent I guess configuration where it's stable which is what I'm using now so anything over 17 inches let's say a 20 inch to 29 inch or 30 inch wide controller could fit on there I could create a soft case that would greatly lighten my load well under 20 pounds now there's a laptop problem I got to incorporate the laptop on top of this well there's a keyboard extension on here that seems to work pretty well I got a custom laptop shelf I'll show you in the setup video next. Now, some people have said to me, why don't you just get a Denon Prime 4? Yeah, it would work fine, but there's a couple of reasons that I don't want to run a Denon Prime 4. By the way, if you do, all you need is an X-Stand and you should be all set. Put your Denon Prime 4 on there and enjoy. The reason I don't want to use a Denon Prime 4 is because I use multiple programs. Sometimes VDJ, sometimes I use Mixmeister, which is wonderful when I'm busy at a place like the club or even a wedding, it's dinner time. I put a playlist together. I go out to the audience and I talk to people and I interact with the crowd and I ask them what they want to hear. I do the same thing at the club. And I know it's not popular to use that program, but I use it and I'm proficient in it. All I need is a mouse. I don't need a controller for that. Sometimes I do use VDJ and sometimes I do music video. Sometimes there's a, a, an agent in town or not an agent, but a, a guy who books events and he likes music video stuff. I can't do that on a Prime 4. Also, let's say someone asks for a track that I need to jump on the promo only website and, and grab or Amazon, I need a laptop to do that. So that's why I'm not considering something like they did on Prime 4 without a laptop. The one I really like though is the Pioneer XDJRR. I've spent some time with that all-in-one unit and I just fell in love with it. Don't think I'm ready to take it out to the club without the ability to do other things like run Mixmeister, run music video, and be able to grab tracks online on the fly. So, yeah, again, if you want to use an all-in-one, go ahead and extend is probably all you need and done. Some other people have said, well, I don't know, how do you, how do you put skirting on this thing? Scrim King makes a really slick scrim cover for an X-Stand. Here's a picture of my last rig that I built 
with the neck stand with the cover on it. Pretty cool, huh? So for a point of reference, I'm not quite six feet tall. I'm real close to it, but not quite. And position-wise, this works very well for me. Of course, I'm a left-handed guy now because, you know, this. But I got a mouse right here that I can do whatever I want with. The gooseneck for the mic, it puts the mic right where I want it. It's perfect positioning. The controller, I'm not slouching over at any given time. At best, all I'm doing is looking down at this thing. And I usually work from about here when I'm DJing. I'm not like right up on it like this anyway. Somebody in the comment section on Facebook when I posted a picture of this, their concern was, I don't want to have a computer right in my face where the audience can't see me. It's blocking me from my audience. I can see over this just fine. In fact, I can lean this back. I am taller than that. This, this is coming to about here on me. I'm looking right over this thing. And if I can't do this to see something that's going on because it's not that wide there's something very wrong with me so it works the other thing about this yeah i've built a custom for the club i'm working at but there are other places that i have worked where you have limited space there's another bar that i worked at last year i was only there one time but it was tight for setup something like this would have been perfect so we start off with an X stand right here, okay? Now, two clicks. One, come on, buddy. And two, puts us at 17 inches. Pull the feet off the back of this, these rubber things here. And you add the extension for a second keyboard. Now these move around, so you need to put the support brace in between, which is this guy right here. Again, a little clumsy, but uh, these little thumb screws here. And here it is, and you can buy this just like this off of Amazon. So you can put your controller here, you can put your laptop here, but this is too wide for a laptop, even a giant Republic of Gamers like I have. And this is actually too wide for anything that I have that's a controller right now. A regular controller, yeah, it's going to be longer than 17 inches, most of them. So my first thought was, I'm going to buy this shelf right here from on or, um, Ultimate, I think, sells it. This is going to be my laptop stand or my laptop shelf up here. It's big, it's bulky, it's heavy. It's upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's a little big and bulky and heavy, and I still have problems that I need to take care of that this doesn't solve. Like, I need a space for a mouse, and I'd like to have some kind of microphone gooseneck. So we're just going to use this right now as a support for the controller because the controller is kind of narrow. It's a little Arcan Audio VMS2, which is a nice little unit, but not what I want to use. It's an older unit, but I always liked it. So anyway, we're going to put that little VMS2 right here because it's not wide enough to just sit on here independently. So just as a mock-up for now, we're going to use this. Now the question is, how do I address this? I built something out of some spare parts that I had, and it's right here. Everything's in this bag, my computer and the thing that I built. Now, um, I'm going to open this bag right here so you can see what I'm doing. Here's my laptop. And here's this custom shelf that I built right here out of spare parts. This is the old, I guess it's a um, laptop shelf for a VMS2 case. And then I put this extension on here that I cannibalized from the laptop stand of a, of a full-size mixer case. I had to cut it up. Uh, the back is put together with piano hinges and pop rivets. I did this on the bench. 
I haven't glued this carpet down yet. And then I put a um, little grommet on here for a microphone gooseneck. This is my laptop shelf that I built. Now, when I first built it, it sagged a little bit in the middle. So I put these little deck screws in here as stops to kind of adjust where it was going to set. It works very well. I can adjust them however I want. And I'll put it on here so you can see how it works. It's really simple. It just goes right here and doesn't weigh anything. Boom, done. There's my shelf for my laptop. Now, same bag. Pull my laptop out, which is heavy, by the way. It's a big Republic of Gamers unit. And it sets right here. Now I have this space here for a mouse, which is right here. And uh, I also have this grommet for the microphone gooseneck. The weight of the laptop, in this case it's a heavy laptop, keeps everything where it's supposed to be. It allows you to bend this microphone gooseneck to where you want it without you know, pulling the shelf off. So you screw the sucker on here. You've got a microphone gooseneck, just like that. Then you can pop a microphone on there. And you're all done. Now the cool thing about the VMS2 is that it is USB powered. So I can just plug this into the computer. And then open up the computer here. Turn it on. And it will power this VMS2. I'm going to go ahead and plug power into the laptop. And there you have it. I mean, aside from running the microphone wire to the VMS2 and the outputs, this is it. So hopefully soon I can decide on what controller I want to use. It might not be until NAM where I can figure that out. But for now, just as a mock-up, we've got the VMS2. We've got that ultimate support shelf again heavy the little laptop shelf that i built weighs less and there's something called tongue weight where you know if you're hanging on something with one hand it's sticking straight out the length of it like makes it heavier i hurt my hand driving the car a couple of years ago it was making a really sharp hairpin turn with the 65 mustang before it had power steering the wheel did an auto return and my thumb got caught in it See, Ollie likes it. He's checking it out. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Ollie, how about you don't go on top of my cool creation that I built? How about you don't do that? <sighs> Cats, what are you going to do? Where was I? Anyway, I about broke my thumb off, and that sucked. So we don't want to do that again. So I need things to be lightweight. I need them to be easy to operate. I need them to go up and down in a relatively reasonable amount of time. I need to be able to load them in and out safely without too much weight. I haven't figured out how to pack it up to load it in and out yet. Use the hand cart before that worked pretty well. Hopefully I can do something with the hand cart with this where it's wheels and it bungees on easily. Uh, that's the ultimate goal anyway. That's what I want to do. But you got to start somewhere and I always start with mock-ups like this and I stare at it for days, weeks on end and I probably will have this set up and stare at it for days and weeks on end trying to come up with new solutions so far so good though i think it's going to work pretty well for me that's it just a quick video explanation as all these scratches the hell out of my brand new dust chair we'll see you next time practice and enjoy